Alright, we're back for this week's weekly one-shot. It's Glass Masquerade 2 Illusions. We played the first one of this a wee while ago, and it was really enjoyable. It's a bit of a funky jigsaw puzzle game, but it's it was gorgeous, and it sounded great, and it was just very zen to play. We did not, however, succeed last time, so we're going to put that right. We got too cocky last time and uh, got distracted by some Irish horror puzzle, if I remember correctly. There's every chance I don't. So, uh, we're coming into this one being even more cocky. The game says it should take about 20 minutes to solve a puzzle. As a true puzzle master, we say we're not going to even need half of that. We're going to beat 20 puzzles in 3 hours. That's our goal. Time will start when we hit our first puzzle. Uh, let's begin. We're going in blind here. I I don't know what's uh, what the game has in store for us. Hopefully, just the same as the original. What if something will happen? Someone will. Oh, okay. Yeah, reading's overrated. So in the last game, we had a world map. This does not look like a world map. At least not any world I know of. How can you decide whether or not you're sane if you don't know yourself? Says this spooky glass picture. And I suppose, like the previous one, we have to punch through these in uh, at least some order. I'm going to guess they branch out, as they did in the last one. There's something about shards, there's something about keys. I don't know, let's hit the play button and get going with it. Puzzle has begun, and I want to... or has it? I don't know. It's easy to add red shards to the board, great, so that's just the same as last time. Uh, get away, and it should take you about 20 minutes to solve a puzzle. Great. Let's get that timer going and go ourselves. So, uh, as was the case last time, you get the, the corner pieces, so to speak, which get you started off. And then you're, uh, you're on your own. But it's a very relaxing game to uh, to listen to and to look at. Hopefully you feel the same way. Also let me know if the sound and the visuals are fine. Normally I check that beforehand. This time I did not. Uh, oh man. All, already thinking, hmm, maybe I shouldn't have been too cocky. Because I'm, uh, I'm not in the zone for this just yet. But we will get there. Hopefully. Ah, of course, I should go for the curvy side ones first. What was I thinking? Evidently not how to solve basic puzzles. I'm sure there are people in chat who were around when I failed to uh, defeat a four-piece jigsaw puzzle. Not my finest moment. Uh, come on now. Get in there. Maybe Jake just likes to take punishments. Also, good evening, says Morkis. <clears throat> well, I always say that I stream what I want to stream, and that's a rule that uh, just is not allowed to get broken. So, yeah, I suppose, yes, I do just stream uh, punishment games for my own enjoyment as well. It's the only way it would make sense. Hey, this thing looks cool. That shape on the top of it's probably pretty important. We have almost all the curvy pieces, but not quite, I think. There's still you to go in. Come now, I should be gaining time, not losing it, on the first puzzle. <clears throat> Gotta bank that time for when I get another nasty Irish puzzle coming my way. Oh, what was that horny one? In you go. All too easy. Something will probably fit in here, right? Not right. At least not yet. But there you go. Who gave us the three hour mark? That would be me. So the game claims that each puzzle should take you 20 minutes. So, uh, using some incredible 
arithmetic, I figure that uh, 20 puzzles... Yeah, I shouldn't try doing arithmetic whilst also trying to solve puzzles. Here we go. No, no, it seems I've encountered an error in trying to think. Point is, let's just give ourselves way less time than the game says we'll need so that we can live up to being a puzzle master. done. Far too easy. And achievement get all around you. It's difficult to understand what you're seeing if what you see has no name. I don't know, I'd call it a, a ballerina dancer serving tea on her dress. So there we go, one down, 19 to go. We blasted through that in practically no time, but I can only assume that was the first and therefore easiest of the puzzles around. Let's keep going. So what is it? Instead of 10 minutes per puzzle, I think I've given myself 9 minutes, so I definitely need to keep making up that time and banking it for the harder puzzles. I think, I mean, my maths could be way off here been very long since I've claimed to be uh, good at mathematics. Hmm. <laughs> Going for less than half of the overall recommended time is a bold move for DDR blind. Well, I mean, Red really set me up for this kind of fate. Poor Red, he will never escape the... Uh, the Banjo-Kazooie curse. I mean, I guess I was the one that had to pay for it, so boo-hoo to me, but... I still place the blame thoroughly on Red for that one. That's the thing about the time limits for the weekly one-shot. I can't know every game. I need to rely on other people giving reasonable uh, time challenges, and if that means occasionally we get uh, Banjo-Kazooie, then so be it. It's all part of the fun in my book. And what a lot of fun it is. It's a peculiar shape at the top. It's probably going to nestle into something convenient. I'll leave it for now. Gorgeous game, though. Truly gorgeous. I'll still never forget how much time you sank into Gruntilda, says Raruin. Uh, I mean... It's not an easy boss fight. Even childhood Jake, who was a lot better at games than uh, adult Jake, had a real tough time with old Grunty. Okay, wow, what, what's going on here? This is coming together a bit too easily. You still telling me these take uh, 20 minutes a pop game? It should take you about 20 minutes to solve a puzzle. <laughs> I guess when you're this much of a puzzle master it's only natural Man, we should make it 40 puzzles in 3 hours, this is too easy. There are two sides to every coin, but sometimes the sides have no coin. In this case, 1 must be equal to 2, and 2 and 0 must mean the same thing. 
doesn't make any sense, game. Just wait for the Tower of Hanoi puzzle, says B. Bre B. Brelix. What's next? Look all around. Keys behind glass. Assemble the shards to reveal a picture of what you may possess, but always deny is what? Just, just give me the puzzles, game. No need to, no need to go so deep. There is a cat, a room, and gloom. Why? Jake's been practicing since last defeat at the hands of Puzzle Pride. <laughs> no. Uh, I had my eye on this game. As soon as we beat uh, Glass Masquerade on the weekly one-shot, or failed it, depending on what you want to say, uh, I checked out and saw that the sequel was coming out soon, so I kept that on my wish list, and I intended to run it the, the very day that it came out. But I did not, and I've been quite horribly sick for uh, this week. But I'm back, fully repaired. It's time to kick some puzzly arse. These puzzles are going way too smoothly. I wonder what the catch is. Uh, the whole uh, whole part here is reminding me of, uh, yeah, for me the best moment during the Street Fighter 2 weekly one shot. I saw a comment in chat, basically begging M Bison to put up a fight because I just slaughtered the poor guy. What a great run that was. I said that I'd uh, go back and do more fighting games, but I never did. Probably because I'm a filthy liar, but I do want to. But for weekly one-shot uh, recommendations, I'm pretty much reliant on you guys. If you know some great fighting games worth sinking some uh, weekly one-shot time into, do bring them forward. There's a submission sheet for it. Jake, did you see or hear Chris calling you out on Imperator's stream last week? Uh, I did not watch that stream, but I of course heard on the grapevine that Chris decided to throw some serious shade. But hey, I wasn't the one sitting there eating uh, Semla. They have a whole day for eating this disgusting, incredibly... Swedish uh, cake. I mean, I, I do love cakes, but that stuff is just awful. It's worse than princess cake. Alright, come on, let's try not to lose the momentum. I can feel it slipping a bit here. There should be plenty of uh, weird enough shapes here that I can shunt something in, but currently I'm just not... There we go. does lots of little things to make you feel really good about every puzzle piece you put in. Everything just feel, seems to glitter that little bit when you stick in the right piece. Glass Masquerade is no Sudoku Zen, but it comes pretty close. I do love Zen of Sudoku, but I just keep it around for if you people get too rowdy. I'll never forget the uh, the nipple rubbing delight that was reading on Reddit. Somebody saying, I was really excited to hear Jake was going to be streaming Mayo and Taxes. 
But he ended up playing bloody Sudoku for the whole time. I mean, that's what enjoying the stream is all about. There we go. Achievement get playing pretend. A world is complete, uh, comprised of letters, a melody of notes, and an image. I'm not actually sure what I'm looking at here. Looks like little, little uh, teapot toaster machines. Three down, 17 to go. Uh, ooh, forking uh, paths here. Exercise in negation. A road without end. Tunnel epiphany without face. I like tunnels. All right, let's go. Slam our corner pieces in and get some momentum going. Hmm. 58 pieces gets more interesting, says Shashil. It's not surprising that later levels would get more elaborate. I hope that, like we saw in the first Masquerade, we end up seeing really oddly shaped levels. This feels like it would go along here, but clearly not. Um, we got ones that were kind of boxy, but... Um, and with little bits on the rim that also had to fill in, and those caught me by surprise, because I wasn't expecting that at all. Oh, and now I have to flip these around to get access to more pieces. Complex. Yeah, that's the same bloody one. Where are the ones with little bits of curve that I can put on this side, though? Oh, no, it's not you. <laughs> hmm. Well now, this could be something. Where are all my curves at? I keep picking up this piece because it looks really curvy like it would uh, go down as, a, as an edge bit, but go down it does not. Sometimes you have to be quite accurate with where these go in, and sometimes you really don't. <clears throat> Keep picking up this bloody piece thinking it should go around here. I'll be very happy when it does get its home. Okay, so this isn't working out too well for me right now. Perhaps I should take a different approach where I where I uh, hmm I'm not sure I can handle different sounds advanced. I mean, there'll be something with a wee hook like that, but with so many pieces to, to check out, that'll be tricky. Time for those 20 minutes to just dribble away, says Ruin. Ah. Yeah, I was hoping I could keep my momentum for considerably longer.
course I'm going to fall into sunk cost fallacy for almost all of these because they might be so difficult that I should go away, but uh, if I've already spent the time on them then I really won't want to. Okay, right, maybe we should try over on this side for once, like you. See, already off to a cracking start. Hmm? No. Peculiar-looking one, aren't you? How's that punishment game backlog at the moment? We have three waiting. Uh, two have been rolled. Still waiting to roll another one. So I will roll that one at the end of this, and potentially with one more if this goes Pete Tong. But let's not... wow, this, this has been the area to go for for pieces. Let's not uh, count our chickens just yet, it's very early days in this weekly one-shot. Very early days. said that we are now comfortably into the time set aside for this puzzle and not looking all that wise for it. There's still uh, the guts of 40 pieces to slam in here. Uh, let's look to you ones then. this piece again. Never sure where it's meant to go. Is there any room in the schedule today for the punishments or would you just be rolling? I suspect I'd just be rolling. Usually the punishments need something set up for it, especially if it's a pretty obscure game or if it's going to destroy my computer anno style. My poor microphone didn't deserve that. Okay, starting to feel that little bit of tension in the gut that says, have I made a terrible mistake? No, I've just got to stay calm, collected, and just keep on going with this. I might be eating a bit of a mental block right now, but we'll power on through it. So many pieces, no clue where they all go. Yeah, uh, if I want to be on track with par, I need to finish this with twenty seven minutes uh, gone from the clock. And we're getting pretty damn close to that. There we go. So something with a really narrow bit like that coming up. Mm, 
This is going unpleasantly piecemeal. Ah, there we go. That didn't do a lot for me, but it did something. Good bit of momentum, let's not lose this, let's not drop it. Uh oh, I'm dropping it. In the right place. game feel a bit more sinister than the last one to anybody? The music seems... Uh, sure, it's still got that niceness of the, the chimes going, but overall... Feels pretty dark. What about this weird uh, shape? Surely I got some weirdly shaped thing that can go into it. Surely, he says. <clears throat> there we go. That's what the doctor was needing. As we're getting tighter here, it's looking more and more like everything will find its home. Find its home. Fun. Remember when I said I needed to have it at about 27 minutes to be on par? Obviously just employing techniques to keep the tension up. Wait, did that just land on another piece? Get off, okay. Game's just setting up for a soft lock and I'll say victory by default. Surely not much more left to this puzzle. We'll have it all done. No harm, no fuss. thought this would have really picked up after we kind of narrowed it in the focus, but not so.
really getting somewhere now, thankfully. Thankfully. Come on, there's not even that many pieces. suppose it doesn't go there instead then Surely every piece just slots in easily now. What the hey? Uh -huh. Excellent. See, things were going a bit too easy to begin with, so in order to hype up that tension, we lose ourselves three minutes here. We'll make it back, no problem. That's four down. All right, uh, what do we have here? Some kind of face, some road without ending, or some negotiation. Let's take it. I know it says negation, but negotiation sounds better. Let's go. time to make backup, so let's try to just power through this, no problem. And it'll all just, ooh, that's a weird one. It's like a pincer's horn. Uh, and then the troubles from the last puzzle will seem like something from so long ago. shapes we got going in here, but the way they kind of jag about like that could be useful for seeing where everything goes. If you did four puzzles, you're actually six minutes up. Oh, maybe it was the third one then. Clunk. Doing puzzles and counting at the same time. Very, very tricky. I love the effect that's applied to all the pieces around here. Looks fairly magical. So about making that time back up, doesn't feel like it's going to happen here. Ok, 
can't even see what's uh, going on in this image too. Hmm. Good, just keep blasting those pieces in. Makes my life a whole lot easier. There's something beastly in this picture. I see somebody saying five bucks, it's the Severus. Seems like safe money, but there's no such thing as a sure bet. Goodness me, that time really does trickle away, doesn't it? That's why I gotta pick up my own game. At least that's one side of it practically done, with the pieces that is, but what about all of this stuff? Oh, hell yeah, this is coming together something nice. Nothing like saying that to put the brakes on everything. Still a peculiar shape on this thing, and I have no clue where it's meant to go. Oh well, it's getting bigger, more obvious pieces slotted in then. More obvious. 
It'll be somewhere up here, right? So, there. There we go. One man deceives himself, another deceives others. Why not both? Okay, what have you unlocked for me? The combination theory of addition. Sure, let's do it. Change that. Another circle, though. What's with all the circles? <clears throat> Although, uh, somebody who has the capacity to count right now, tell me how much of a uh, minute's deficit am I chewing on right now? Hmm. You still tell me you don't want to go up there? I guess you are. Uh, curvy bits, curvy bits. So somebody's keeping track of the number of puzzle we're on because uh, me and numbers aren't getting on right now. Oh jeez, where are those edge bits? I need them now more than ever. put my pieces in a lot faster than that, but I'm just not seeing it. Evidently. <laughs> Somebody's saying one puzzle nine minutes, eh? Is he on track? Well... In a manner of speaking. an extreme version of this game where you can only pick pieces up, you can't put them back down, so you have to really know the shape that you're looking for when you jump into it. 
I would not be able to handle that at all. So this one being easier than the uh, previous game, I'm asked. Mm, can't. There we go. Can't really remember how tough or not the uh, the first one was. Queer shape here. Smack you up there. At the very least, it limits the uh, places that I'll be throwing my uh, bits around like a fool. What the hell is this? How am I meant to access it if it's up there? Just unlock some new tech. I can use my scroll wheel to uh, to sort the outside. That'll speed everything up. Previously, I was clicking and dragging them around, and it's a bit cumbersome. But with this. I will surely be able to just blitz my way through. Edge piece evaded me for so long, and it's not even the last uh, edge piece. Kind of surely you want to fit in there, no? with a bottom in ages, but nothing really crying out to me there. Everything seems to fit a lot smoother at the top. Hmm. Aha. That's a bit for the longest time I thought would go at the top, but did not. Feels like we're soon about to hit uh, terminal velocity, critical mass, whatever you want to call it. Point of no return for victory. Still does feel so sinister though, right? I'm not imagining that, am I? Hmm. 
I don't need to develop the bottom, we can keep going with the top, but it feels like the lack of developing it is uh, hurting me here. Especially when I got things like this that I still have no idea where they slot into. hard part. Incredibly obvious thing am I missing here? If there is bound to be such a thing. Oh, I <laughs> did not see that piece fitting in there. No way, no how. But now that it does. Everything else just glides together. Ooh. Rough stuff, but we made it happen. How many have we done now? Okay, we got the, the one who laughs and the knowledge of many. I like the sound of laughing, so let's go with that. Blitz through. Even the the frame looks angry. Look at the creepy eyes at the top. It's angry because I'm uh, obviously getting too good. It wants a nice tense weekly one shot. And at this rate, it's not going to be able to see it. Spares me a lot. I'll wait until see a wait until we see a shape appearing, I suppose, but Nitra is asking me if there are any mechanical differences here. There are not. Seems like uh, very much more of the same. Did you like Glass Masquerade 1? Here's a whole load of exactly the same. And that's just fine for some people. And I am one of those some people. It was a gorgeous game, I just wanted more of it, and more is certainly what I'm getting here. I mean, it's, it's jigsaw puzzles, what's there really to uh, innovate on? Plenty, sure, but then you're going to deviate from what people are coming here for. Clunk. Maybe there's some logic to thinking about the shapes that these uh, 
Well, I did not, <laughs> did not think for one moment that would go together. Uh, maybe there's some logic to stopping and thinking about what these, the images on them and how they would just fit together, but I just don't see it at all. I can only go by the shape and do my best with that. remember that piece if I get uh, a weird little hook bit come out of everything. What? Get your ass in there. No? Okay. Some kind of bird thing. the hooky part that I had before. Uh, let's move on to some others. When in doubt, just guess and get lucky. Words to live by. Part of my childhood that I've managed to forget is me playing with jigsaw puzzles but just hammering pieces that clearly don't fit together and calling it a day. Having now seen myself do this, I wouldn't be surprised if that's not far from the truth. pace is going alright, let's just try to keep it up, preferably increase it as well, because we got a long ways to go. It's that bird again, where the heck are you meant to go? Somebody has noticed Evil Jester at the top. Oh, there she go. Oh, there we go. Bird on the ground, of course. I bet Evil Jester is starting to worry because he's seeing how fast I'm slapping these pieces into position. position. Really cannot dawdle on a piece if you don't know where it goes. The game is not forgiving enough for that. If 
thought I had made the hooky shape somewhere, but perhaps not. seen that one ages ago but I did not. Alright, should just be a couple more minutes till we're done with this. Oh, hooky shape has been made. Where's the other side of hooky? There you are. Come on now, let's not uh, falter at the last moment here. Last moment for this puzzle, at least. That said, I have no idea where you're going. I mean, really. <laughs> the gas has been upped to double jester. There you go. Jinx, a lot of these were not obvious pieces. And this is still not that obvious to me. At all. Like a big chunk of the map that I'm missing elsewhere. There. Fee you! The one who laughs, achievement get. Let's keep on going. How many have I done? Seven. That's not terrible, right? Actually, am I on par? No, that's seven keys, not seven puzzles. See, these guys give uh, a number of keys. This one would give three. This one only gives one. Wait, eight? I, I'm not sure I understand what's going on now. Well, whatever, let's just keep going. You're wasting time, Jake, says Thaggy. You don't have time to count. Well, then you guys count for me. Bloody hell. Pressure is on when it comes to the puzzles. I got my mastery top hold here. Um, some nice obvious shapes going on here, but that only holds true if the things that slot into it actually match. Often they do not. Often they very do not. <clears throat> you it. I had a feeling about that piece.
snow. Alright, move over to this side for a bit. <clears throat> Bound to be new things to fit in. Let's do our best to make this look all too easy. Peculiar shape at the top there. Double nubby bit coming out. Pepper says, I'm pretty sure you have seven puzzles done. Seven and... Really? It doesn't feel like I've done seven, but... I'll take your word for that. Be some YouTube scrub watching, yelling, going, no, it's not seven, it's six. Sometimes I get called out or acknowledged by the YouTube scrubs. I was just noticing one earlier today <clears throat> who was watching uh, Patrician 4, episode 100. I made a shout out to any freaks that would still be watching by that point, and they said, Yeah, that's me. Having watched a few of them myself, I can see the use as a sleeping aid, but that's about it. They're so boring. Still, I was having the time of my life, and that's all that matters to me. Mm. A lot of weird shapes, but it's hard to immediately identify what they'd be on the outside here. I mean, I was looking for the bit that comes up like that, but I'm not seeing it. That's not to say it's not there, it's just saying that I can't see it. And never mind the fact that they spin around so much when you do pick them up. Still have some big edge pieces here that I haven't figured out yet. That's a double nubby bit. Right, I know a piece, I know a piece. There. Hmm. Oh well. Thought I could spin around and try to find specifics, but I could not. Instead, I just waste time. That said, the breath of fresh air seems to be giving us some immediate payoff. Ooh. Nice and jaggy. Still nice and jaggy. Somebody's guessing it's some kind of genie. They probably show the shape at the top to draw that opinion.
Hmm. Disappointing. Right. Let's try not to let up here. We're doing okay. We just need to do better. up on the okay as well. Hmm. Too many different parts on the map that still need to be filled in though. Okay, relatively flat and slightly bumpy bit at the bottom though. You. You didn't even look like something would go in there from an earlier point, but I guess you do. Zorbam says, I wonder uh, why Jake isn't also looking at the colours to see where things could fit. Maybe that's a piece of next-gen uh, strats I need to pick up, because this shapes lark isn't working 100% for me. I'm not the best with colours. Some might say I'm one of the worst. But if I want to succeed, and believe me I do, I might have to do that. How are we doing on the time? What's the time deficit looking like? Because this puzzle's probably done in the next couple of minutes. If that. Puzzle 8, you're like a minute or two over time. Hey, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Because, you know, of course I want to keep it tense. Why, why would I... Uh, why would I want to have a sure thing weekly one-shot? There's no enjoyment to be had in that. I love feeling that tension. even. Is, is there like a large part of the puzzle that I... there we go. At this late stage we finally get the edge done and I still don't know what I'm looking at. Anybody able to guess? We had a uh, genie earlier. There we go. Good merchant cares about goods. Yes. I guess it really was eight. Okay, uh, which is more fun to play or to something? 71 shards? Sounds like a challenge. Let's do it. Come on, I stepped into this thing. I will be the puzzle master. I can't shy away from challenge. 
71 pieces in about nine minutes. That's a lot of pieces per minute. First ones are always pretty easy because you get the edges for free. However, beyond that, it's not always clear what is edge and what is just pain in the arse. At least not to me. If you want to finish on par, you should get this one done with 121 on the clock. <laughs> no, that isn't going to happen. Seventy-one blooming pieces to smack in here. Do, 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 do. Ha. No clue. I'll leave you for now. I about to say, at least the edge is coming quite easy this time, but uh, you are not an edge piece. But you weren't a pain in the arse piece, I'll give you that for free. Okay, peculiar shape on you. Must be, uh, must be a home for you later. What is this? up goes in there. I <laughs> couldn't even get the same piece back. Right, let's keep it going. Some way, somehow. This looks a bit sinister. I'll put you down. It's a bit too, a bit too spooky for me right now. There's still a whole bunch of edge to complete over the side here. Hey, you're a big piece. But what could you mean? You probably go in the center. I'll have to remember you later on. Weird little hook going on with you. Not immediately obvious. Oh. <laughs> Cursed piece. What the hell? Funny, but I have no idea. Hold on, we hooky bit? Uh, no, no, those hooky bits were were no goes. Oh well. go, edge almost done. Wow. Hmm. Peculiar. Well, 
Well, we're coming up to the uh, 121, and I'm not halfway through this puzzle, so I don't think we're going to be... Oof. Don't like you. Don't like you. Let's put you back. Not fancying my chances of being on par at the end of this one. However, if we're clawing our way back, which we no doubt are, I think everything will be just right. Ooh. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that at all. Still with these wee hooky bits, and I'm not seeing the the hooky parts for them. It'll probably come together with this, but where does this go? No idea. I feel like you go around here, but if I can't join it onto something, then I can't slot it in. What a shame. What a pity. Okay, well I haven't tried this side in a while, so let's get to it by getting it wrong. Hmm. Very wrong. Okay, come on, I need to I need to get going somewhere here. Grinding to a halt here, and I do not like that. Let's speed up using the side parts here. first big part of spook put in at least. Where else does the spook apply? Choosing this puzzle will prove to be a costly mistake. Ooh, the face. If I work with the face, and I know I had some spooky face pieces around here, then we might be able to get going with it. Where is spooky face? Oh no, you, you probably belong down there. I think there are a lot of spooky faces then. Hmm. Unfortunate.
one's giving me a lot of trouble it seems. I'm four minutes over and counting of course, because why would people not be counting? Let's just use that as motivation to pick up the pace. Far fetched, but I take that. Where, where do we even have space for a big old smile there? Let's just destroy this puzzle with facts and logic. Nah, nah, get your ass on there. No? Okay. This puzzle also looks angry at me. You can see the bit at the top. Jake, you're nearly halfway through the time. Oh, jeez, yeah, and I'm not halfway through the puzzles. A good point. Right, there must be something with a little curvy bit there, right? So you go there. What about a wee bit that snakes out like that? That would be you. Another curvy, curvy-ish bit. Is that you? It is not. But you'll go there. You'll go there. All right, another. Lots of curvy, stabby bits like that, aren't there? All right, come now. Let's keep the pace going and keep the hope alive. Ah, there we go, there's our hooky bit. It's pretty much a uh, red herring because it was useless up there pieces. All these are surely clowns that I wouldn't invite to my birthday, <laughs> says Nagand. Sometimes I wonder if people think what I say on stream is uh, coming straight from me. How well, often it's from the weirdos in chat. There we go, fat bottom left clown, finally done. Another one? No, it's just just your face. Okay, we are now many minutes over par. But scary clown picture is now complete. Knock around tournament achievement get. Okay. Whew, all right, nine down. What do we have? Come on, game, no time. Nothing man? Nothing man sounds good. But maybe shoulder and craft would be better. Why are they all round? I want the, I want the fun boxy puzzles back. All right, if I do this one in zero minutes, I should be on track. Off to a bad start there, then. Come on, side pieces. Ooh.
Tried that before. Didn't work then, but it could work now. in there. I know when you're trying to pull a fast one. pieces missing but I'm not sure I'll get any more of them right now I read a review in this game that said that the music was uh, really grating, and I'm not seeing it. I think it's great. And yeah, they still did leave a positive review, so what do I know? Masquerade here. Just not getting anything to go on. No? Okay. Hmm. Not seeing a lot of distinction between the colors, so it's hard to work with that. snout My son is watching you and he likes it a lot, but you're not talking enough, says Worm. That's probably because I'm trying to think, trying being the operative word, because it's not coming together so well here. Yeah, there we go. Uh, maybe talking is the solution. Seems to have worked out. Still though, so many pieces. <laughs> Fewer than last time, but it's still giving me more trouble, I think. Hmm. 
There we go. Just really not feeling like I got a lot to go with on this puzzle, but all the shapes are really quite smooth. Not holding that against the puzzle, it's obviously on my end. That's not making my life any easier. There's the home for the snout. I wonder if there are many of them, because that looks like an ear, but this is all too high up for it. Subjecting your son to the puzzle master? Are you sure he has the intellectual capacity to understand Jake's moves? Says Nagand once more. I'd like to even be making some moves here, but this isn't coming together at all for me. There's something at least. Ah, bottles of something. This is another clown who's just dressed up as a pig this time. Oh, I've, I've taken overtime on this puzzle and I'm not even close to being done with it. In fact, I'm over halfway through my time. Considerably. Hmm. Again, not even close to being done with this one. Where the heck does everything go? Does Jake enjoy her? Has he ever enjoyed chess? Uh, I am beyond terrible at chess. As in, if you were to play against me, you would wonder how anybody could be that bad at chess. Which surprises even me. But I think I get too cocky when playing chess. Okay, what in the world? I haven't been able to develop the center here at all. Let's at least finish your head off. Oh, it's, is he a chef or does he have a fro? Must be a really sharp piece that nestles down into that. Is it you? It is not. It's you. And something with a really straight bit like you. He is a chef. Oh, that's nice. Right, 
I think we got the magic piece that we needed uh, developing developed. When you say that, you're meant to follow it up with slamming pieces in left and right, Jake. Come on. You're now more than one puzzle behind. Still a lot of room for big chunky pieces, but I have not found a place to put them in yet. place that this could go in, right? Still not seeing it. Whew. Okay, we're almost there. Just gotta make that last push, right? Right. Get those big chunky pieces slotted in there. shape there must there we go I can't believe the time this is taking but it sure is taking a lot of it I thought there'd be a second person in this picture. Oh! <laughs> I thought that was someone's face, but no, it was a button. Okay, I can't believe the time that took. It slaughtered my, uh, my sandbag plan. Alright. You know, ever since I went south, everything went uh, pretty poorly. Perhaps we should be trying things like the about face or the... Road without end. I don't know if there are easier ones. They all say high difficulty. Right, let's just smack these in. Oh, smack these in. Mm -hmm. 
so since sandbagging is now only going to get me slaughtered, let's return to our roots and just mash all these pieces in like no tomorrow. Like no tomorrow, what? Get in there. Hmm, odd. Not an edge piece, but maybe it'll go there. No tomorrow. Yeah, I guess it doesn't quite fit. Um, many things trying to pass for edge pieces here, but they are not. I think there's a whole side of pieces I haven't even looked at here. just smash that part in there and call it a day, but the game disagrees with me for some odd reason. There's very little time uh, to dawdle with here. Not that it would stop me from dawdling with it. Yeah, there's a little bump coming down the side there that's probably significant. Don't think I can develop the center just yet with that. up. Oh no! <laughs> every uh, every puzzle here is in some way spooky. Let's just ignore that piece for now. Seems like trouble. A lot of troublesome pieces around here. Better, going a whole lot better. I 
What of you, though? Where? I mean, this is about the only place that you could go. But you don't want it. Color, Jake, but color is difficult. A high level. This one I'm not seeing at all. Where the heck would you even... There we go. Alright. I think we made back a tiny amount of time with that. Whew. How are we looking at? Ten. No, man, I'm only halfway through. No, eleven, thank god. What do we have up here? Indirectly direct. Sounds awesome. Sixty-six shards. How about the, uh... How about the face? Somebody said there's a river of disembodied hands. Let's check that one out after this. Which direction was it, at least, so... I mean, saving seconds now seems to count. This one's kind of good for me. It's got distinct colors. Makes it easier to put in these weird pieces. And some of those are very weird. It was a previous puzzle, those hands. Can't dwell on every puzzle here. for some of these edge bits, so maybe it flies into something here, but I'm not seeing it. Still, it could be a useful piece, just not now. Hmm. I think I've done all the ones on, on there that I could think of. Keep calm and keep on moving here. Kill and keep moving, even. What am I even looking at here?
Alright, I've got a whole bunch of pieces on the right that I haven't even looked at yet, so hopefully they will uh, stand us in good stead for plowing on even further with this puzzle. I'm feeling pretty good about this one. Pretty good. Hopefully make back even more of the lost time here. Hopefully. large and distinct piece, surely. There we go. Difficult to make out what a lot of stuff is going on in this, but a cool picture anyway. You guys have an easier time of uh, kind of assessing what the whole bigger picture is. I'm too busy focusing on each individual piece. Maybe it would work better for me if I kind of stepped back and looked at the puzzle as a whole, but I think the shop's closed on that one. Didn't I just have you? Get away. there. It's pretty much the last push now. Oh, it's a piranha plant. I never would have imagined that uh, that piece that I was confused about was part of a fish. Time for being confused here. Can we just shove these pieces in and call it a day? Hmm. Evidently not. I thought we'd be at the last hurdle here. Yeah, surely we are. Must be some pieces from another puzzle getting mixed up in this. Maybe what this is showing is that uh, fish from Donkey Kong Country 2. The one that guides your way, the glowfish or something. Right, you must go there. I don't know if I went over or under time on this one. It's not even done yet. What? Oh, right, there's a gap over there.
kind of agonizing the way some of these final pieces go in, but there we go! Okay, only one hour left to defeat how many puzzles? Whew. Eight! Okay. Uh, uh, gold, I like gold. Time for making mistakes like that. Whew. Seven point five minutes per puzzle points out. Uh, Mirror GS. It's all right. All you gotta do is be really good. That's all. Right, let's not dwell on peace. Does it have a space to go? Yes, no. And then we move on. Well, you, you sure you don't want to slam into the bit there? Yes, no, no, away you go then. Mm. That's a no, then we move on. Up. We spiky bit on the left for you, there we go. No, and away we go. Else is there to try? Peculiar piece here, but nope. Big edge piece, another edge piece, and that's the edge almost entirely done. Come on, gotta keep that hope alive. Oh, there's a lot of weird little details on uh, on this map. That'll be tricky. Xbox huge piece here. Hmm. There is indeed a tiny bit of edge left, or at least there was, and now it is gone, Lul Nude. Come on, ain't got time for, uh, for second guessing, just first guessing. Parts on the side here. Jaggedy, so you'd think down here, but no, nothing quite fitting with it. Oh, whoa, okay. I just tried to put the piece back, not slot it in, but 
the game is uh, clearly understanding my supremacy here. Okay, get, getting something resembling a shape in the center here, that's nice. spookiness at the top there. Oh, even more spookiness there. Uh, hope this game isn't too scary for your kiddo there, Borm. Because it's giving me quite the fright. I can feel it. Let's just calmly yet assertively smash the pieces in. He's not afraid of anything but running out of Lego. We call him Ghostbuster. It's far better to be the thing afraid of than to be afraid of anything. getting there. Ooh. Surely you mash in there, get in. Somebody was asking about snapping earlier, and that's a, that's a good example of it. The game has the tiniest amount of tolerance for, uh, for snap. Where it puts the pieces in the right position, even if you weren't quite on it. But it's so little that you can often uh, call, your, call your piece a wrong piece, even when you were just off. Like, you clearly knew where it was meant to go, but you just off-clicked a bit. Okay, that was pretty good, but I think it still wasn't good enough to be on track for somehow miraculously beating this. Alright, 51, now more like 50 minutes for the rest. Oh, that's not good. Yes, evil. Oh, right, we need to carry on. Yoink. Come on, Theatre of One. Make it happen. At least there aren't a lot of pieces on this one, but let's just plow on through. Time disappears so fast when doing these uh, weekly one shots. I right, got a bit of edge to work with, but. Not a lot of pieces jumping out at me. How about you? No, certainly not. So, we assume you're feeling much better and can return to work tomorrow. Alright, worm. You're not the HR department. Still though, I do fully intend to. You never know though, I hear these uh, Stockholm public transport has a way of uh, exploding these days. So who knows?
That wasn't some kind of vague threat. There was uh, an explosion on a bus earlier today, I believe. Was it today? Don't know if time kind of melts together. Right, getting too distracted here. There is important business of beating these puzzles. Straight edge on that one made it difficult to deal with. Right. There. I don't even see any purple on this map yet, so let's discard you for now. Let's draw a pot of greed and get a few better pieces. Nobody saw that piece going in there. It's one of my power plays. Okay, that, that should surely just mash in there, but no. I forget it then. Too cocky with my early successes here. Now I'm dwelling over individual pieces too much. If it fits, it fits. If not, keep on moving forward. How does that not fit though? Is there a greater part of this picture that I'm just not seeing? It's possible. I mean, there's a lot of things I don't see in life. Yeah, well. Used these parts earlier, cutting off tons of the map with these. Excellent. Victory has assured. Well, for this puzzle, at least. What? Mehdi <coughs> me. Righto. Somebody flexing a swole arm here, but not not seeing its home. So deafeningly close. And these last pieces give me some real jip for. Still so surprised that you don't go in there. I mean, what, what's this even? Ah, there we go. Ha! All right, it's Aerodactyl inside a cage. I was a fool not to see this earlier. Uh, 
Uh, that I'm still definitely not seeing, though. We'll slot in everything else and find its home. Oh, okay. All right, how's that for pace? Ah, but only 35 minutes remain to do uh, six of them. Still theatre for one done. Who's still to be done? Knockout tournament. You can look for an actor or... Did I do this already? No, I don't think I did nothing. Ah, oh, it's a lot of pieces. Well, let's make it happen. Somebody in chat, Echlelchem, probably, knows that victory is assured and is yelling puz uh, puzzle master already. Far be it for me to say that might be premature. Oh, a lot of pieces. And, uh... Well, let's just do it like we always do. Quickly and correctly. Ooh. Goodness me, this is this is gonna be tough. Does it feel like this is going to be the rest of the entire run to anybody else? They're looking like a uh, an edge piece. How about you? Yeah. No. Just remember the mantra of not dwelling, Jake. Yeah. Close your eyes, remember your mantra. Disturbing amount of edge not done yet. Can't all be small, weird pieces, but uh, whatever the case, it's not happening for me here. There. That gets us a good bit closer to the center, which will make things easier to work with, provided I can actually uh, keep it going. Strange caterpillar. Mm. <laughs> Can you extend the time limit with harsh treatment or some such? I'm all out of mill points. What I sometimes do is I uh, double or nothing the run if it looks like it's going south. But uh, there'll be no double or nothing, nothing in here. I have way too many punishments on the backlog as it is. And okay, this is this is just not coming together for me. I wasn't expecting this one to be easy with so many pieces, but it's still ooh, it's nice. 
but not there. Cute, but it is wrong. Boy, I got diddly squat working for me here. Let's keep it moving somehow. Scary. <laughs> Only 21 of these pieces are in right now. This is this is looking grim by the moment. Nice heart pattern, I assume, will be made here, but from where and with what, I do not know. God, this is this is grimmer than playing Monopoly alone. looking at shapes is what's hurting me here but I'm uh, I'm finding it very difficult to piece anything together on this puzzle There's something at least. One part, fairly disconnected from everything else, so it doesn't help out. At least not a lot. take from the other side for a change, even though we've already been through them all before, at least I think we have. something a bit. But is it enough? I'm thinking no. The clever thing, I think, would be to drop this one and try to move on to something that's uh, less devilish. But the sunk cost fallacy is strong here. Where in the heck do half these pieces go?
Jake often picks up piece A, tries it for a bit, puts it down, does the same with piece B, and then goes back to A. It's because uh, they go black here, so it's hard for me to remember what I just used. Also, I have very little short-term memory. And very little long-term memory. Just very little memory. But holy smokes, this is not coming together at all. I mean, now it's personal, I can't just drop this puzzle, but by the gods, it's so difficult, this. Maybe I need to think more about the shapes that we have here. I mean, there should be something almost Texas-shaped to go here. There we go. And now something that comes up with a little hook out like that. Is that you? Yes, it is. And now something that's like a tiny little elephant, but with a crabby thing at the end of its snout. The thing is you don't know if it's going to be that one piece or if it's a few pieces put together. So I'm sure not seeing anything like it out here. Okay, what about something that has a clear rhombus shape in it? Like you. Seems to work, but it's slow going. I'd rather just pick up random pieces and rub them against the puzzle. Ah, see, there we go. It was two different pieces here. Now it's you and you. He gets those. This, this is a toughie. Still says it should take 20 minutes, though. Alright, something with a wee sh tiny, sharpy bit coming out the side of it. Not sharp enough on you. Hmm, maybe it was there and I scrolled past it, or maybe it's you. Hmm. Alright, how about something with a little uh, semicircle bit coming out of it? Oh, it's a quarter circle even. Okay, and something with a scorpion tail coming out of it. Hmm, about you. No? You sure? You really sure? Shame. Scorpion tail at. Maybe it's you. Nah, wrong way around. <laughs> it's the same piece I just picked up. Ooh, what a doozy. piece has been obvious for some time. Now... 
Okay, something with an obvious curvy bit going into it. Sometimes a bit harder than seeing coming out of it, but... Oh, <laughs> close, but not quite there. Ah, but you might fit that. Curvy bit going into it. Two square bits? I don't think so. This is likely to be two pieces. But are any of them looking particularly square? Oh, mm, eh, no. Not you. Kind of small and square as well. There we go, Texas done. Right. Peculiar shapes. Something popping out with a tiny little zit. Hmm. You. Okay, something coming out with just a slightly bent rectangle. <laughs> and the progress made is so tiny. Okay, how about this? And it's a curve, but one part jutting out. That's you, for sure. Uh, if I turned you around a bit, for sure. And you're the same piece. So this puzzle must count for like seven puzzles, right? Because it's pretty tough as nails. Making some serious progress now though. like that it got less serious maybe you should have formulated the challenge as pieces fit in rather than puzzles completed well, I hadn't played the game at all before, so I didn't know what I was getting into. I didn't think it would be pretty much identical from, uh, from the previous game, but even so. It seemed a bit of a cop-out to change the challenge like that. We roll with the punches around here, though. Even though this is looking like a certainty for uh, punishment, I will fight on. And 
this edge just comes in bit by bit and it's uh, makes it all the more devastating. This is a huge part, but I'm still not seeing where it's meant to go. How about... Oh, okay. Didn't look like it would fit, but fit it did. found a place for you earlier. Where was it? Clunk. So can anyone see what the picture is yet? I'm not spending a lot of time looking at it, but it's uh, uh okay, get get off that other piece please. Okay. It refuses. Something circus. Clown in a dress. Yeah, there's a lot of clowns around here, which I don't really approve of, but the game can do what the game wants to do. And the game really wants me to eat this punishment. there, almost through this monstrosity of a puzzle. It's pretty much done, and I'm, I still don't know what we're looking at here. I didn't lose on this puzzle. Ah, it was the Nothing Man, of course. Well, 15 puzzles down, if I take 4 minutes per puzzle, I'll still lose. 80 pieces. Maybe we can... Ah, indirectly direct. Now it feels like I'm playing that uh, pop the balloon game on Yoshi's Island. But which is the puzzle that's going to beat me?
Look on the bright side, Jake. Now you can take your time. Nonsense. I'm not done yet. If by some miracle I get lucky and all the pieces just pop right into place, then it could all turn around. Or maybe the game will suffer some uh, horrible crashy bug in the next 10 minutes and I'll say well this was inconclusive join us next week H2R Jesus maybe it should have been solved three puzzles in 20 hours. Son of a gun. They're always so keen to talk the smack when they're not the ones up here trying to solve these dastardly puzzles. Is that a challenge to make this a mod game? Absolutely not. This game is very ill-fitting for a mod game because you could just know the uh, the puzzles or even print the puzzles out next to you and bash your way through it. That's why Stronghold, uh, once it was defeated, immediately got taken off of the uh, challenge list. Oh, there was one change to it, wasn't it? It was like, first it was playing hard, then very hard, something like that. But still, uh, known solutions do not make for a good mod game. So with this, right? Yeah, oh, well. Hmm. Cute Jackos says Brelix after previously wanting to cure them. At least these aren't the hee ho, I'm gonna kill you, Jacks. A joke, relics. Should check your sense of humor. Mm, and me, I should check my puzzle mastery because I'm getting fairly floored here. Look at all this edge that I haven't, uh, I haven't gotten. I would have thought this would be a big chunk of it, but it is not. Another weekly one shot to a uh, spooky Halloweenish puzzle again. Alright, this must be one thing. It's some kind of elongated kangaroo. This one, it's got some kind of lightning bit at the bottom. Mm, I 
nothing that I can see. Oh, well, back to the old-fashioned uh, rubbing pieces in until they fit. Elongated kangaroo, you still sick, Jay? Well, it's whatever, whatever mental association helps with memory. I mean, I see normal people's memory as some kind of superpower. Remembering is tough. Wow, this this one ain't, uh, ain't kidding around. And it's sounding more and more sinister too. Okay, gotta be something with a round bit, with a little bit that just juts out of it, right? Still 30... no, 46 pieces in play here. Ten minutes left, Jake. Tick tock. It's all right. Just two minutes per puzzle, and we'll have this one easy. Change that. I'm I'm stonewalled here. Come on. There we go, that piece will change everything. About two seconds per piece would be doable. Yeah, not seeing that happen. Wish it would though, because this is this is not working. There we go, finally. Wonder how many times I scrolled past that piece. Probably many. All right, another need for a big curvy bit with a little bit that juts out. is getting uh, minutes per piece, not pieces per minute. Ooh, hey, that's kind of useful. So what's got a wee slithery bit coming out of it? That's pretty slithery, but not the right slither. Still not the right slither. There we go, that guy just slithers in. Whew. Well, 
Oh, hey, that's kind of cute. I've never seen that piece before. Get in there. Surely, surely. There we go. And that's what I mean by it not having. Uh... Well, it's got some pretty ruthless snap to it. Do it precise or don't do it at all. Tried the pieces over on the left for some time, but boy, this one is uh, flooring me. Hmm. Checks best time. when I no doubt come back to destroy this game later in Retribution I can compare God, timer ticking down, I can't believe I'm still on this puzzle These pieces do not come together easy. Huh, I never would have thought that was an edge piece. Didn't look like edge there. Okay, there must be something of a tiny, tiny bit that jags out like that. A jaggy, even. Very narrow jaggy. You? No, uh, wrong direction. Not narrow enough. Perfect. Round bit with a curvy, curvy bur uh, bit to it. Mostly round, but a curve. There we go. Only 22 bits left in play. Only. this game for using such underhanded methods to keep me so spooked that I can't concentrate on the puzzle. We're starting to get somewhere here though, I think. Oh, no, my, no, I'm just deluding myself now. I think some of these bigger pieces would be finding their place yet, but they do not. Hmm. 
Alright, the bigger parts are all starting to come into play now. Unfortunately, I've only got two minutes if I don't want to die on this puzzle. I'll die. Well, lives aren't on the line here, just pride. This is this is not coming together. No way, no how. enough tenacity we can just pull through Dang, dang, dang. I can't believe I got beaten by this puzzle. There goes the three hour mark, marking this as a failure of a weekly one shot for the second time. I'm bested by the glass masquerade. The first game and then its sequel. Some of these pieces are a bit ridiculous, but what you gonna do? And that's one minute. That feels like um, very belated revenge for the old Aristo times with Limbo. And that wasn't even the last one. Man, I still had a bunch of puzzles to do. That was only the 16th. I had four more on the cards, but um, I'm gonna lick my wounds and call it there. Jake now qualified to restore stained glass windows. Whew. I can't help but feel you would have gotten further if you'd employed thinking strats sooner. Nah. And in the end, I really enjoy this game. Or at least I enjoy playing it without thinking. Thinking's a bit too much for it. Hold on, does it show you what the... No, it doesn't show you what they are ahead of time. Huh. I had difficulty ramped up on this one quite a bit uh, faster than I was expecting, I would say. Are they all... Uh... Oh, it doesn't say if they're difficult or not, it just says how many pieces there are. I thought there was a difficulty rating on the first game. Maybe I could have just done an old puzzle over and over again and say, hey, I didn't say they had to be different puzzles. No. Okay, that was a failure and a half, which means we get to do what I know is some people's favorite thing. Let's see if we can bring it up here. 
The Wheel of Punishment. I have to spin this once because I missed a week of weekly one-shot. I know I didn't do it last week, but that's because I was ill. The week before was because I was lazy. So, uh, we gotta spin this around and eat a punishment for ditching out. The Wheel of Joy says Brelix. So oh, maybe for some, not really for me. There's a lot of games there. Many have been around for a long time. Uh, what, what do we have around here? Steel Division still on this? Okay. Anno 1404. I know some people go like, why is that a... Ultimate Doom on Nightmare. Is this an old list? Well, maybe, but if it's something I've already done, then we'll uh, we'll just spin it again. Maybe I was too lazy to update it. I'm certain I had, though. In any case, round and round it goes. Where it lands, only the wheel knows. Gauntlet of Ire has been on this for a while. It has a small backing of a lobby behind it. Hoping it doesn't land, because I've played it a little bit before. It's a horrible game. EU3 is there. I think I have to destroy Byzantium as Golden Horde on it. Close to the ultimate doom. What is even Hedon Lands? I, I, I have no idea. I do, however, have the power to check. Hedon Lands was put in by Golden Deer very recently. Golden Deer has insane luck on rolling these. But there we go, they got it. No idea, but we'll find out soon enough. But I have to roll this thing again because I also just failed our weekly one shot right now. Upping the amount of punishments I have on my plate to four. I'm really going to have to chew through them this week, but chew I shall. So let's spin it round again. I wonder how Golden's luck holds out on this one. Hedon Lands is an interactive fiction, a classic text-based adventure. No graphics, no dialogue trees, no point and click. You type your commands. Ooh, those were fun. Right, what do we have? Looks like it's not going to be Crazy Bus or Kung Fu or Steel Division. Uh, oh, it's going to be Dwarf Fortress. Now, this game had a wee bit of a lobby behind it. I have never played or even seen Dwarf Fortress played before, so I have no idea what I'm getting into for that. But judging by the chat going, haha, yes, yes, haha, finally, then I have no idea, but it's probably not good for me. In any case, we'll get to doing our punishments this week. That's what I'll commit to, because we have a couple other on the backlog. One is Godzilla. And the other is Pajama Sam 3. Uh, that's on Steam. Maybe I'll wait to find it on sale. We'll see how much it is. Well, however you cut it, I've got a, bun a bunch of punishments on my plate because I was not up to scratch. Despite being the puzzle master, I clearly wasn't on my A game today. But that's just how it rolls sometimes. Not even sure what we'll go with for next week's weekly one-shot, but as ever, if you think, oh, this is game challenge I really want Jake to do, plug it onto the weekly one-shot. There's a link just below the stream to submit it, and uh, take anything into consideration there. Of course, if it's if it's not 12 plus hours long, all the better. Anyway, I've droned on long enough. I shall get away. Cheers for joining for this week's weekly one-shot, and just for now, cheerio.